$29 for Leopard users. And if you have several machines, up to five, you can use a family pack at $49. Snow Leopard will be available this September. And today, we are making available a near final version of Snow Leopard, a developer preview, so that you can make sure that your application runs great on top of Snow Leopard. So that concludes the update on the OS, and in fact, on the Mac. Now I'd like to turn to Scott, for the iPhone. Thank you. All right, let's talk about the iPhone. It has been an incredible year for the iPhone. It was less than a year ago that we released iPhone OS 2.0, and with it, the native SDK. Now, this allowed developers to go beyond web development and build truly native apps. Well, the response has been staggering. Developers have downloaded the free SDK more than a million times. And these developers have been prolific in building apps and posting them to the App Store. There are now more than 50,000 apps on the App Store. Now, we've been working really hard, too, to build a huge and growing user base to run your apps. Apps from the App Store run on all iPhones and iPod Touches. And we have already sold more than 40 million iPhones plus iPod Touches. Now, these customers, they love downloading and running apps from the App Store. In fact, on April 23rd, we crossed 1 billion apps downloaded from the App Store. That's in just nine months. Now, I'd like to say thank you. <laughs> thank you to our customers, and especially Thank you to the developers who've been working so hard to build these great apps for all of our customers. You know, we've heard some amazing stories from our developers. And we put a little video together to share some of these stories. Let's go ahead and roll that now. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I could just travel the world while making games. After Dizzy View was launched, we could finally make that happen. For us, that's really what it's all about, creating great experiences for the fans. Man, if, if I could see the fetal heart tracing on a mobile device, there's not a, a doc in the world that wouldn't want to be able to do that. When I was a practicing physician, I had a direct impact on patients' lives. Now, through our application, our sphere of influence has dramatically grown. When the SDK was released, we said, yes, it's possible now to create the games we've been dreaming about. It's always been my dream to travel around and make my own games. And we took a stab at it, and it was pretty hard to get your game published. But when the iPhone SDK was announced, that was when I knew the opportunity was right, and it was really going to be something special. We finally made a game that we were really happy with, and we submitted it. About one in the morning, we looked and we saw Dizzy Bee available. We just exploded. We were so excited. Finally got, our, got a game published. A female physician is sitting uh, at her departmental meeting. She has Air Shabobi running right beside her, and she starts to notice some changes that worry her, so she quietly grabs her keys and leaves. By the time the nurses first recognize this and say, uh-oh, you know, we may have a problem, and they call her, she says, hey, I'm in the hospital, and you know, I'll be right there. I was in San Francisco last year during the World Series, the Phillies versus the Rays, and I was waiting for a flight to come home at uh, the airport. 
there are a bunch of Philly fans watching the game on TV, and in the middle of the game, the iPhone commercial that we did came on, because so they all pull out their iPhones and download the app right there. They're like all excited because they can go take the app with them when they get on the plane and not miss anything of the World Series they're about to take off and go home. I created Game Loft to be able to come back to the roots of the gaming uh, experience for users. Progressively, it has become a very specialist experience, and uh, I felt that uh, it was not uh, fair. So I said, we'll create a new company to make sure that everyone would be able to have fun and play all over the world. And it's working because we sell millions of games. On the iPhone, everything behaves as you expect it. And the tools are, they're simple, but they mask this like incredible amount of power underneath. It's really the first time that we've been able to take a platform and now go to our designers and say, there's no limitations. What Apple's done is made it so we can just focus on what we do best. And they've taken care of all the details. In fact, sometimes, I have to stop and say, wow, this, this is a mobile device I'm developing for because it feels like a desktop application API. I think with the SDK 3.0, we will be able to create without limits. And in terms of experience, end users will clearly move a step forward and will never want to come back. It's hard to express how cool the new streaming technology really is. I mean, being able to watch a live game on your phone for the first time, I'm just, I think everyone here is really excited about that. The push notification API is going to be great. The physician could take the application and they could customize exactly for individual patients what alerts they wanted to see. So that way they know if they're getting an alert, this is something I really want to take a look at. I'm hoping there'll be like a generation of kids who grew up like, oh yeah, I got box scores and watch games on my phone. It was just like part of the experience of baseball. Developing for the iPhone SDK actually makes it fun again for a developer. This is going to be the dominant platform, the dominant device, and it will dominate in healthcare. I think that I'll probably never go back to making games in the traditional way again. Having the power to submit it and have lots of people download it and enjoy it has been really great. You build the app, you upload it, specify the countries you want it, the prices you want, and then it's out there for the entire world to see. My favorite app is Bike Gear. My favorite app is Surf Report. My favorite app is Librant. Facebook. App Engine. My favorite app is Color Sutra. Le Monde. Zen Bound. Tourism Theory. Piano. Airstrip OB. Maya. Camera Big. Koepondo des. Mint. Pulse 877. My application préférée is Ride to Saber. Backman. Lipping's Program. MLB. Ritual. Multi Quiz. Asphalt 4. Shazam. Taxi. It really has been an amazing year, and we owe it to our developers, so thank you. Let's talk about what's next, and that is iPhone OS 3.0. This is a major update to the iPhone operating system. It brings with it more than 100 new features. Let me highlight just a few, starting with cut, copy, and paste. We are bringing a nice, simple, beautiful touch-based interface for cut, copy, and paste to the phone. When you make a selection, you get this nice cut, copy, paste bubble right above your selection. So cut, 